We have 568 students that are qualified to, to graduate today. My name is Sarah Barrows. I live in Hyannis, and I decided to go to Four Seats to get a degree in human services to further my education and to do something different with my life. Hi, um, I'm Lillian Tizard, and I am was born and raised in Massachusetts, Cape Cod. Um, I am just graduating with nursing and I chose Four C's because it's really convenient for me. Um, I got to stay and work at home and be close to my family and I still got my degree. I think the best part about Four C's is um, having my family close by. I mean, going away from college can be tough for the first couple of years, but definitely having that um, support is great and I love it here. So I was a full-time head chef on Cape and I just wanted to go back and do something else with my life. I had gone to college when I was younger out of DUI and had to come back for financial reasons and then finally paid off my loans and went back and I decided to go to accounting so someday I can open my own restaurant on Cape. And I didn't know how special Four Seas was until I actually went there and it's just opportunities for Cape Codders and Washa Shores to really better themselves and this the faculty and advisors and students are all amazing. My name is Grace Jensen. I am from Ketuit, Massachusetts, right here on Cape Cod. And I was a transfer student into Four Seas and all my credits were able to be transferred and I get to carry on to Mass Maritime this fall. I had a great experience at Four Seas. Um, the faculty and the staff were very accommodating for what my goals were and for my background and I was able to process or get through my educational career efficiently and effectively um, which is a time saver and uh, I feel like I'm on the right path really and I was lucky to be uh, selected as the 29 who shine recipient um, by Professor Kate Martin so I feel lucky that I get to um, represent Four C's as well. The first thing I think about is just what a powerful um, award it is. You know, it's for students in this, who plan to stay and be successful members of the Massachusetts economy and community, which is exactly where I see myself going, is staying here locally and working with the environment. Everyone's kind, you're friendly, you're not out of place. I, I just believe it's a kind environment. It's a great environment, actually. All the clubs I'm involved with helped me being involved in Rotorac, economics, Alana. It's been amazing. Every club that I've been a part of played a crucial role. During commencement, the college recognized two alumni of the year. Well, it was uh, really uh, surprised, you know, basically surprised. It's like, wow, that's quite an honor. You know, it's been 40 years. This was wonderful because it really built the foundation for everything that's happened since and it still is. Um, and I see kids going off to college and they get promoted, they go off to all these school visits, uh, this and that, the places that have these wonderful cafeterias and gyms and they pump it up and pay so much money that takes decades and decades to pay back where they're missing this jewel. Particularly those kids that um, maybe not exactly sure what they're, they're going to do, but there are some focus uh, degrees that are very good. I, I graduated from the law enforcement program and it served me very, very well. So my name is Matthew Donlan, uh, Chief Executive Officer at Addiction Treatment Centers of New England in Boston. Uh, Cape Cod Community College alumni, class of 2014. Uh, I graduated with an Associates in Arts continued on from four C's to U University of Massachusetts Amherst University Without Walls program which is a, a great transition program for online completed my uh, my bachelor's in mental health studies in 2016 I, I was in the process of moving to Florida and taking a new job when I graduated so when I got down there I, I immediately got involved with continuing my education and I ended up enrolling in a, an MBA program at Florida Institute of Technology where I graduated last year and took the summer off and enrolled in a doctorate program at Arizona State. So I'm currently uh, just wrapped up my first year of Arizona State's Doctorate of Behavioral Health Management. 
So I've basically been a student ever since I stepped foot here on Four Seas campus. This is truly a picture of who we are, the people we serve, the, the challenges, the trials, the tribulations that our students go through while they're, they're achieving their success through the college. So this is the culmination of, of all that effort. It's really a great moment.